Witch sheeting a cold snap. You better face facts, Mr. Bones. They ain't gonna leave you alone. Some red eyed devil's gonna make his bones tonight. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should just let him. What's that sound? Yeah, maybe there's a hotel I could hole up in. Some gingerbread house bed breakfast skeleton hotel. I don't know this place, but I know that sound. How do I know? Either come inside or be on your way. How does that thing do that? It would make that pretty noise. What, have you been dead for 50 years? It's called a guitar, son. Why don't you try one on for size? Just play it.
like I'm back in serious jelly. Are you messing with the Gullion? The Gullion? The man with the drums. <laughs> yes, sir, we are messing. Mm. You'd better hang on to that guitar. It might come in handy. Thanks. Later on. One chord and I wigged him. <laughs> uh, now y'all can't talk, but you can listen and maybe even feel. my bones.
first thing somebody to realize that wants to know what the blues is, the first thing they got to realize is that everybody has it. She's a little baby as soon as he comes out of, out of mama and has the blues.
I gotta get out of here and stop that man from doing what he's doing. Can you help me?
Oh, now what? Do I look like a shoe? Get these laces off me. Oh, no. The Ghoulian's walking bones will get no help from us. The Ghoulian is stealing my people. He's using them as slaves in his castle. Little bitty slaves? Oh, that's too cruel. But I don't walk for the Ghoulian. He uses arachnids. See? Kidnapped by spiders? Oh, the weirdness never stops! I can help you. Look at me, sir. Look at my eyes. You can stop the spiders from stealing my people? Sure as my name is Mr. Bones. Now, uh, get me out of this. What? Mr. Bones. Don't mention it. Now, I gotta get out of here. What? <laughs> Careful with that leg bone, children. I'm a brittle man. Bones, 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 bones. We're carrying a skeleton to an icy lake. We're carrying him so carefully, he's never gonna break. We're carrying a skeleton to an icy lake.
Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Whoa! Party is getting rough. <laughs> Elvis Parsley. And sings. What's green and sings? Elvis Parsley. Hands. Hands up. You're under arrest. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Hands. Hands who? Hands up. You are under arrest. <laughs> Cross the road. Why didn't the chicken skeleton cross the road? He didn't have any guts. <laughs> You guys are so skinny. If you were standing sideways, I couldn't even see you. <laughs> you guys are so skinny. If you were standing sideways, I couldn't even see you. <laughs> now, why are we here? Now, because they don't want us there. <laughs> now, why are we here? Because they don't want us there. <laughs> Make me one with everything. What did the Zen master say? To the hot dog vendor, make me one with everything. <laughs> Sell it and buy a guitar. Now, how do you make a drum sound totally cool? Sell it and buy a guitar. <laughs> To prove he wasn't a chicken. <laughs> Why the turkey cross the road? To prove he wasn't a chicken. acres of stony lonesome. A canvas of black. Who'd have thought one little white speck would ruin everything? Me. But I see red skies ahead now.
Ninja. Oh, now we ain't gonna go through all this again now, are we? What do you expect to extract when you stick a pipette into the heart of darkness? Puppy dog tails? Uh, excuse me, but didn't you say you had vampire blood? Shut up! I'll turn you into toothpicks and give you the gluttons who eat nothing but gristle. Behind you, man! What's the alternative to evil anyway? Good? Ha! Ah! Uh, excuse me, but the sun? Show me a good man and I'll show you a hypocrite! Show me a hypocrite and I'll show you evil waiting to happen! And I waited long enough! Centuries! The night belongs to me! The night's over, man! The long red night has just begun! I hate to break it to you. What? Not much of a listener, was he?
I have lived for centuries, and this is what I have come to know. Morality, humans believe, is only a series of choices, good or evil. Sometimes good prevails, sometimes evil. They balance each other in the long run. That is the myth. The truth. Our so-called moral choices are no more than the flip of a coin. Sometimes good comes up, sometimes evil. But often what we think is good is actually evil. And sometimes the evil we turn over is more evil than we thought. Evil always prevails. Most good decays into evil. The good that doesn't simply vanishes, like sudden rain on a blistering summer day. So morality is a simple matter of statistics, a question of luck, of odds, of faith. I am not a gambler. I am a scientist. A scientist seeks the most elegant solution to a problem. But what is the problem? If morality is only luck, why not eliminate the space in which it dwells? What would happen then? If one takes away the coin, we can't continue our little game. But this is mere metaphor to help you understand. In literal terms, I will ensure the survival of the good by making evil thrive. This is no paradox. Good is a weed in the garden of the wicked. Only by letting evil run its course can good survive, as seeds hidden in the dark ground of evil. Hard seeds that may survive the firestorm when the world is consumed by chaos. The forces to accomplish this apocalyptic goal are limited. Fortunately, I possess the only one I need. Skeletal magnetism, or skeletism. The force created when physics collides with alchemy. It is vampirism made objective and controllable. It is the mirror image of photosynthesis. It is the black hole of our inner essence. What passes through it is either crushed or changed. It is the first breath of the newborn, the last breath of the dying. It is the phoenix. It is the gods and the death of gods. Fire and ashes, ice and smoke. It is a contagious red glow. All it touches are consumed. Think of skeletism as a red band in the middle of the spectrum. I have made the means to absorb the rest of the spectrum into skeletism. This is accomplished through noise, rhythm, mesmerism, and certain vampirical processes. I can make every dark thought real. I can make the spirit flesh. I can make the bleached bones dance. I can destroy everything. Believe me or not, it doesn't matter. Play the game while you can. All games will soon be over. This is Mr. Bones, children, and I don't know much. I'm missing my skin, my nose, my hair. I'm missing every vital part a person needs to live, but I'm still moving on. No, maybe it's memories that keeps me going. Maybe the good old times are chirping like crickets in this cage of bones. Summers were best when shadows were short and the air was thick. 
<laughs> sitting on the shady porch with an old guitar, picking the old tunes and flipping over the June bugs as they landed on the porch. <laughs> They're watching the young ladies in their cotton dresses cool their feet in the creek. The boys walk by with their poles and hooks on their way down to the fishing hole. So hot, the dogs lay under the houses, paws twitching in their sleep, chasing rabbits in the cool world of dreams. Just sitting with a, a jar of sunshine tea, God's own dew in a bottle, watching the sun pass over the trees. You know, mama might make a pie later on, when the sun's gone past the world again. She's got blueberries laid by. You know, it's good for a man to sit in the shade, feeling the heat and the marrow of his bones. And when the sun goes in, it's good to sit with your kin and friends, talking slow, singing low, waiting till it's cool enough to lie down. Now here's what I believe. The night might be full of sudden storms and clouds as big as planets might hide the stars and the moon might hide its face from every living thing. But we all will lie happy in our beds because we know that morning will come again and the sun will rise once more. <laughs> yes, sir, the sun will rise once more. <laughs>